Shills are annoying, nobody likes them. So it's time to get rid of them with a good old fashioned genocide. I thought of this idea when I actually saw AT&T's response. This, uh, let's see, what is he? He's some marketing guy, I'm assuming. Bob Quinn responding to these Obama FCC regulation rollback. And there's a lot of misinformation that's flying about this particular subject. I did a video on this. It's H3H3 doesn't do his homework, which explains the case in a lot more detail. So I won't actually explain all the details here. But what is happening is there are a lot of shills that happen to be pushing the Trump is doomed, Trump sucks, Republicans are evil, and they're using misinformation to do that. And they're actually succeeding because it seems like there are a lot more of them on the payroll now than there were before. Because des desperation means that you can bring in more bucks. Now, David Brock of Media Matters fame was initially started Correct the Record, which was part of Hillary Clinton's failed presidential run. And that's where they continually tried to disrupt online forums, disrupt comment chains, post a lot of things all over the place, just to really just be assholes so that Hillary Clinton could win with that express goal. And they failed miserably. But they're back once again. They rebranded. And it was fun. When uh, Donald Trump was elected, we got a day where there were no shills and it was glorious. And then all of a sudden... They turned the money spigot back on and said, okay, for every post, we're going to give you four cents now instead of three, or whatever it happened to be. But now they've rebranded and they call themselves Share Blue. And they're out there once again, and they are all over this issue. I've seen articles, I've seen posts, I've seen threads, I've seen subreddits, I've seen subverses, wherever it happens to be. There are a lot of shills running around spreading misinformation, which is specifically designed to attack Republicans with Obama's trap that he laid out there for, for Donald Trump and the Republicans to fall into. But also, they're also indirectly attacking ISPs. And I noticed that this AT&T guy said, I am also hopeful that facts actually work their way back into the debate so he's concerned about fake news. He's concerned about misinformation. That's coming directly from shills. But the question is, how do these shills get on the internet? What company do they use? And if it happens to be AT&T, can't they just turn it off? And since ISPs have so many monopoly regulations that keep them in power, and let's say it's AT&T and Comcast, or Comcast and somebody else, and you only get two choices. If you lose one of your choices, that's 50% of the options you have. And it wouldn't be hard to say, okay, well, AT&T is cutting off the shill service. and said, nope, sorry, you're pushing a narrative against us with misinformation. You can't use our lines anymore. And then, what are you going to do, call up Comcast? Hi, this is ShareBlue Corporate. We're trying to get internet access because it was shut down by AT&T. Oh, Share Blue? Yeah, you threw us under the bus too. Click and then Comcast hangs up. And that would be a devious way to just get rid of shills. At least Share Blue shills, the Democrat shills. That are just, just disgusting people. It's so fucking annoying. Because you're trying to have a, a real conversation with a real person. And you can tell it's a real person. And then all of a sudden, someone starts interjecting all these extra comments just to throw everything off. It just, that doesn't do anything for anyone. It just makes, if they had their way, if they got everything that they set out to do, there would be a lot more dumb people in the world. There would lot, be a lot less freedom. There would be Hillary Clinton probably starting nuclear war with fucking Russia or something. And in the end result, we need some sort of final solution for them. This is uh this could be one. This could be one. So if anyone um anyone out there on the internet knows Bob Quinn, um you know, tell him to look into this and see if he can cut off the Shills internet. 
No, I am not advocating for any of this. If Sheriff Blue's internet was turned off, and the shills no longer were able to do their job, then they'd have to realize that it was very difficult for them to actually get back in the game with another ISP. And then, if they ever actually did find a way back online, maybe they'd start advocating and shilling for free market principles.